Tonight, a young man who brought himself into custody has claimed to be the infamous MOM killer, who is to blame for strangling and decapitating more than 20 women over the past decade. It's believed that the unidentified suspect brought himself willingly to the police as he killed his last victim and let the young witness leave at a scene. I don't think I need to read your goddamn files to figure out who you are. I know a lunatic when I see one. And you may not have anything on you. I assume you have a decent life, perfect education. Maybe you even still live with your parents. They could be someone. Could be a lovely relationship or maybe the opposite. But in all that, somewhere, your life took a toll. And you decided Screw it. I'm impressed, detective. It seems that you know a lot about me, but you left some minor gaps in your little analysis. Please! By all means. Take it away. Gladly. So... I was fortunate enough to live with my mother even though our relationship is not the best but she's still my mother she's reliable independent and responsible she's everything except a mother and a wife she's a protagonist in her world that's why my father don't want to do anything with her and myself included Why you? I ran off to his parents' house because I couldn't take it anymore, being humiliated. So I thought I was safe there, but I was wrong because my grandmother was like my mother. As I got worse, I felt compelled to act. I did what felt right for me, cleansing my humiliation from her. But my grandfather didn't do anything much. I loved him. But I had to put him out of his misery after knowing what I had done to his wife. So I got into a lot of trouble for it. But I was too young and too... cooperative. Which they said was unnatural. So a doctor has been assigned to assist me. But it made me feel something at the time that I could get away from the something that is so big despite how easy and thrilling it was. Because through all of it, I was thinking about that specific someone and it made me want to do it again. I wanted to be better, but to do so I had to cooperate, listen, analyze and learn about the different people around me and their stories which helped me to become the person I am today. I have learned from their mistakes and trained myself to be intelligent, conservative, deliberate, manipulative, and more dangerous. But I had to trick my doctors into believing that I was a functioning member of society first before I could run off into the wild. So that's what happened next. I got out as a free man, but I still had to see them on a weekly basis but that didn't stop me from putting my newfound skills into good use. After about a year of hunting and hiding at the same time, they declared me as a healed man. But I went home to be dead here and better with what I do. Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Like a science experiment. A chain up rat in a cage. I can look at you however the- Reminded me of her. What? Is that why you strangle them from behind? So that you don't look at their faces and don't feel like shit! <laughs> you 
literally think you can get sympathy out of me. Trust me. I've been tracking you down for years. Trying to figure out who you are, what you look like. And I'm surprised that the infamous M.O.M. killer is nothing more than an ordinary looking guy who has the most bitchiest personality I've ever seen. Is that how you people do these things around here these days? I mean, I say another and you guys assume another. Even with the personality you judge me by, I mostly led a vile and depraved parallel life. Filled with debased aggression and dread, I crave for murder brought by the bottle rage that I have carried with me every day of my existence. So I do what I do because it's my passion something I've always wanted to do, something I dream about every night, and I remember telling myself that I do it the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next. Something's off. About tonight, you didn't run nor hide. You even left the witness alive. She was too traumatized to say another word. It's like you willingly want to get yourself caught. But what I don't understand is... Why today? I humiliated her myself. If you rewind your life to a moment where everything goes well, it is the moment when you are born seeing the world senseless, evils, only permanence. I couldn't hurt my mother for what she did to me, as she was the only reason I was born and the reason the light was shattered. I could murder her, bury her body in the dirt, where no one would notice it from the highway. The desire to kill my mother impeded the way, as no son in the world is capable of doing so. I had just received word that my mother had died when the phone rang. Suddenly, the rage, the desire, the violence that had consumed my entire life had vanished. I can't come back from this. I can feel anger inside me, but I am still somewhere inside me, more than that, better 